Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at some new Horus Heresy products, including a new assassin and a load of new heads for the Space Marines. Since I made the How to Play Horus Heresy videos, and a little bit after that, I haven't really been covering Horus Heresy, but every Thursday they put out some new models, and this week it's a new assassin, which I thought looked pretty awesome. So I had a good look through the new article, finding out more about it, and then saw these cool heads, so I thought this would be a great video, because if you're into kit bashing and looking to customise your armies, then I think these could be a really nice option for you, and not just for Horus Heresy, they're going to be good for Kill Team and also 40k as well. Let's have a look at the head upgrade sets first then, then we're going back and look at the Assassin and some of the older ones too, in case you haven't seen those. So this is the Character Heads Upgrade Set number one for the Legions of Astartes and these are going to give you 15 new heads and you can use these for Space Marines from any of the different factions. I built my Space Wars for 40k and my idea there was to not have any helmets whatsoever. So something like this would be really cool if you wanted to do something similar for one of your armies. But also for Kill Team as well, if you wanted to do maybe an intercession squad, then I think these heads could be a decent size and they would work for that as well. If you're doing an intercession squad, you only need six models, but maybe you want to put together a roster with more models for a campaign or something like that, and you want everyone to be slightly different, then this could be a really good way to achieve that, I think. There's also another upgrade set. This is the character heads upgrade set number two, 15 totally different heads, and you can see some influences coming through from the different legions or chapters here for sure. But again, for Kill Team, this is what really stands out for me. If I wanted to put something together, I think these would be really good for personalizing and making each one of the team unique. These two sets aren't available just now, but it does say in the article they'll be available or on their way very soon. That usually means we'll see them in the pre-order preview. So this coming Sunday, I wouldn't be surprised if these two sets are included in there. So yeah, we could be getting these very quickly. And they're also going to be made in resin and available from Forge World. I've only ever bought one model from Forge World. That was Ragnar Gunstein, the squat ammo jack. And I've got to say, it's one of my favourite models. Quality-wise, I definitely saw a difference in the details. It was really good, and I was very pleased with it. But I think these should hopefully be along those lines in quality. So if you wanted something with a little bit extra detail, if they're anything like Ragnar Gunstein, then yeah, I think you'll be happy. That said, I have heard lots of horror stories about Forge World models being warped and things like that. Uh, but that might be the older models. So it'd be interesting to hear your stories if you've ever ordered from Forge World. I'd love to hear your experiences. Were the models good? Were you happy with the end result? Yeah, it'd be great to find out. So add your thoughts and your feedback in the comments section down below. Now with all the upgrades we've seen for Horus Heresy, you've got shoulder pads, different heads, torsos for all the different legions now, and they say that they've released them for all of them. So that's up to date, and now with these custom heads, that should be most of the upgrades we'll see at the moment. So looking forward to seeing what they're going to do next, but price-wise, I mean, it's going to be anything from 1450 to maybe even 1550 for these heads, I would expect. They might add a little bit more on for those extra details, and also the things like Thousand Suns and some of the other heads. You're only getting 11 in there, whereas this is going to be a pack of 15. So could be a little bit more. And to find out for sure the prices, it's normally when they go on for sale. So when you can actually pre-order them and buy them, that's when the prices are confirmed because they don't publish it in the lists. Right, that's the heads covered. Now let's have a look at this guy. So this is a new assassin, an inhuman assassin. And I've got to say, I really like this model. For, as soon as I saw it, I thought this would be great for a game like Rain in Hell or something like that, a skirmish game. Brilliant. I think it would be really fun to have something unique. This is also a Forge World model, so we expect to pay a little bit higher price, but hopefully the quality is going to be as good as Ragnar Gunstein in this one model as well. Now this assassin is part of the Traitor Legions and he's called the Infernus Abomination. It tells us in the article that very few know the true form of these shape-shifting executioners. There we go, a really interesting character and I think a great model. More for me thinking from a skirmish game perspective, something like Rain in Hell, this would be fantastic in. I wonder if you could use it as some kind of Chaos Space Marine in a Legionaries kill team. That might be a fun option as well. So if you're looking for a special character, then I think Forge World is really good for that. 
Let's have a look at some of the other assassins as well. They've been released over the past few weeks. You've got this one, Clade Adamus Assassin. And price-wise, they're all very similar. So £27.50 for this one. This gives me a real Marvel vibe though, I must admit. But great looking model. And I'm sure you could make this work for 40k, even Kill Team, if you wanted to proxy it as a different operative. A great way to have a really special model on the tabletop. There's more assassins, so if that's your thing, you might like these next two as well. And here's where I mess up some more names. Here we go. This is Vanus Infosight and another assassin, £27.50 again. Not so much into this one. This isn't my kind of vibe. And another one, Venom Assassin. That's a much easier one to say. Again, same price, £27.50. I should say, if you're only buying single models like this, you will have to pay a postage cost on top of that. So yeah, they can get quite pricey, these individual models from Forge World. Uh, but like I said, I really do like that Ragnar Gunstein. I don't regret paying out for that whatsoever. And I did buy him as a single model as well. Just a quick video this one, but I thought it'd be worth sharing because I think these heads have got a lot of potential and it's really fun to customize your armies with things like this. And out of everything I've seen so far for Horus Heresy where the upgrades are concerned, these really stood out, so I really like them. I also like this assassin model too. I think he's great. So hopefully you like those too and you found this video helpful. If you did like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one, and I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. It's really cool to get your support and thank you so much. We're now heading up there. We're up to, what, 36 now on our way to the 100 point mark, where once we get to there, we'll be able to do some narrative battle reports, which I can't wait to do. So thanks so much for helping us to reach that goal. I really appreciate your support.